In today's Gibbs Cam Tech Tip, we will show you how to use PMI, Product Manufacturing Information, to streamline your programming for GD&T purposes. The Gibbs Cam feature allows you to import GD&T data into Gibbs Cam directly from your CAD source. Here you can see we have a .prt from PTC Creo. Let's import this solid model and have a quick look at it. We'll put the CAD color on it. And you can see here we have a connecting rod and all of the GD&T came over with it. Having this data allows the Gibbs Cam programmer to understand which part features require special attention, such as reaming, fine boring, mean tolerances, surface finishes, and other important manufacturing information. The programmer will also know where to leave extra stock for post-machining operations such as grinding or lapping, or to remove stock for plating or anodizing. All of this without creating another print means that you spend less time at the computer and more time making parts. Let's have a look at this application and see where we can apply the GD&T values. Here you can see this hole has a concentricity and also a true position on it that are fairly tight. Tight enough to where a reamer is not going to do the job. So let's load a demo process that we've already made for this and it is going to be an end mill used for helix bore. Let's click on the bore and do it. And now, because we have chosen to helix bore this instead of reaming it, we manage to maintain the true position and the diameter. And because cutter compensation is on, the machinist has control over the diameter of the bore at the machine. Let's go look at the other end of the part and see where another GD&T feature may not be quite so apparent but the numbers are right here and all of the evidence is right before us. Here we see on this 1.6 diameter bore a surface finish of 48. If you know anything about surface finishes you know that this is going to be a surface finish that is going to be used for tin plating this bore and then after it's tin plated the babbit will stick to the tin so we are going to machine a RA surface finish of 48. And if you look at your turning finish calculator, you'll find out that we're going to use 5,000 RPM and a feed rate of 0.0042. 5,000 times 0.0042 will give us a surface finish of 48 RA. Now that we have both of those features machined, let's go into OpSim and have a look. Here we have our helix bore. And again, this end mill is going to maintain all of the GD&T properties for that feature. In the second operation, we have a fine boring operation with a surface finish of 48RA to allow for the tin plating to stick to this part. The PMI data from Gibbs may also be viewed on the shop floor where the machinist will have a clear goal of the part dimension objectives. Contact your CAD provider to see how to export PMI data directly into Gibbs Cam and contact your local Gibbs Cam reseller if you have any questions.